Birdie putt. Thin, but still good. Yep. The Hogan only got two or three around, he said. That he absolutely hit the way he wanted to. Get everything to run, run, run out like six inches past the ball. But I want you to leave it down there and point to it. With the club head. Six inches past the ball, there you go. Now when you're there, your uh, elbow, right elbow needs to be straight. Yeah, you feel like it's straight. Ball's gone already. Well, yeah, and you're really putting some crunch on it, and your body will respond differently. If you're thinking all rotary action going through there, you're going to start sliding knees and things like that. But if you take the axe at the top and fire it down at the ball, the aiming point, I think what's going to happen is your your body's going to just like pulse up a little bit and, and uh, secure the area, so to speak, and and then we'll get some of that slide stuff out of there. I think that's what you're feeling there. You're feeling before like you were just rotating, rotating, yeah. right? And then when does this thing come out? Uh, well, it's going to come out that way, maybe. Yeah. And, and now from here, it's like feeling like, oh, if I fire the club right now at the ball here, this is all going to be out and this is going to be up supporting. Yeah. Like that, stretching you out like tug of war, right? Pull back. Mm hmm. You know, all that's out. Bam. Done. Released. Yeah. It's going to stay high. They're going to open, but you got to have that out. That's the feel. Yeah, exactly. Right by there. Stay high, high. Yeah, bam. There's that 10 right there. Yep. Like that. Yeah. And I love all that. Supporting. Nice. Like barely any movement on that ball. Right? Release the club head. Release the club head. Get that club head. Get the shaft in line with the right arm, right past it. There you go. On a downward pressure smash into the back of that golf ball. You know, just like, like a, you know, when you're trying to pressure the back of the ball, it's like going like, like this, right? Bam. Yeah. I'm just like trying to smash the back of the ball. And before we were coming through, looks a little rotary, get a little soft, start to tilt. You know, now it's like, keep your shoulders back up, support it, and then the feel is maybe the, the right arm and the shaft in line with each other. Right at it. I think there you could have had just a, a touch more of the shoulder staying up. I'm wondering a little bit if you could not have your shoulders so much over, uh, past your toes at a setup, instead of so bent. Just kind of settle them back a little and measure yourself a little different that way. Yep. Nicely done. Well, I definitely feel more on my heels there. Yeah, that's what you should feel. That's different, huh? It's like you see uh, yourself, visualize yourself, mm. like with your uh, elbows. Stand right here. With your elbows kind of over. It's kind of over your hips, down through your ankles, rather than sometimes you'll get out like this. And it'll be like pretty, pretty over here. Yep. And uh, yeah, like you said, maybe a little more on your heels, a little more sit back. Yep. I think you're searching for when you're over this way. You could be searching for um, that that uh, positional uh, balance in your system by by doing this, you know, this thing. Yeah. You know, because you're over here and you're going to fire them. But you you don't have room, so then you start to kind of make room. Yeah. You know, and uh, you tend to go uh, sideways. A lot of guys would amateurs, you know, play very well. Would go straight back and just kind of whiff the ball. But I think if we just set a little bit more, you know, shoulders not out so far, and then the toes, the knees, the hips, the elbows all kind of align with each other. Stack it better. Stack it better. Yeah. Much better there. A little more height. Still crisp. Not like you don't hit them crisp, but we're just looking for that consistency. So we always do. What happened to Hendrick Stinson? I hear uh, he's a mess right now. No? I heard. Yeah, nice finish. Wrapped around this way, balance. Yep. 
job today, man. Much more doing good. Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons. The next best thing to an in-person lesson, a live Zoom. So you want to kick that slice through the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below, hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.